What's going on, guys? I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. We talk and track all things weather if you are new here. And in this video, we are going to talk about the potential blizzard, the likely blizzard that is going to steal headlines over the next few days right up until Christmas. If you stick around to the end of the video, this is also going to be my Christmas week update on who I think is going to have a white Christmas. The two are related because the Christmas miracle is here. And if you don't have to travel, this blizzard is going to help give millions of people a white Christmas. So we are going to get right into it, starting off with first the blizzard side of this. And then again, towards the end of this video, we're going to break it down region by region on who I think is going to get that white Christmas. Anyway, we're watching two pieces to come together to form this massive storm here. In the blue is the snow. This is the wave number one working through Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska. We could pick up several inches in this area. Plus, the wind is going to start to go nuts. And later on, again, I'm going to show you the model output of this system. And then I'm going to show you the wind as well that's going to be howling really from the Midwest to the Great Lakes, even parts of the Northeast. Here is system number two. Again, when you get these big storms, these big blizzards like this, you typically have two pieces coming together, the fuel and kind of the entity itself to just kind of blow up here. So keep that in mind that we are going to likely see that over the next few days. That is as of Thursday morning, December 22nd. Watch as we go forward here. The two are starting to come together, and here we go. Our low pressure is starting to work its way into Indiana. Now, there's going to be two sides to this. There's the warm side. There's the cold side. We're going to take a look to see how cold some of the United States, really most of the U.S. gets. Nonetheless, on the back end, we are going to have a ton of snow pushing in. This system also going to bring up a ton of warm air out ahead of it. So this is going to start off as rain in the northeast, in the mid-Atlantic, even for us in Ohio. But watch what happens. The cold air invasion here behind this system is so significant that we quickly see the changeover. There you go. By Friday morning, December 23rd, we are all snow now. In Ohio, in Indiana, in Illinois, and this is heavy snow. And then that snow pushes through most of Pennsylvania as the low itself kind of gets pulled up into Canada. And then we'll see this trek towards the northeast. But as we've been highlighting here, a lot of the modeling early on has been garbage from this. And I know a lot of people were excited about a white Christmas in here because that's what the models have said. Again, models are guidance, not gospel. The pattern just never looked right for this to blast the I-95 corridor. Here you go. Our low is up here now, and we have the winds blasting over the lakes. So the snow is going to continue even into Christmas Eve in parts of Christmas Day, right along the lakes. By and large, though, most of the country just quiets down on Christmas Eve, but it is going to be really, really cold. Now, in terms of how much snow, I think the European is doing a nice job. That's what we're going to go off now. On Tuesday, I'm going to do another video with another update here, a more hour-by-hour -hour look, and then I'm going to put together my own forecast to kind of remove some of the noise from the different modeling that's out there on the internet. But I just wanted to show you that I do think the European is doing a nice job. It's honed on this for a few days and is in line with the pattern. So you see what happens here. This really starts to increase. This is early Thursday morning now with the snow coming through Wisconsin, into Iowa, into Illinois, and you see there, there's the white Christmas that's going to be given to millions from this blizzard. And just look at this takeover. So I'm going to go through the entirety of the event now. This is going to be through Christmas Eve night. And you can clearly see now the path of this. We get crushed by this storm in western Michigan. Also northwest Indiana into north central Illinois. And then back through Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan. We're talking a couple of feet of snow possibly because we're going to have that strong wind off of Lake Superior as we move into as we move into uh, a Saturday and into early Sunday as well. That's Christmas Day. I also think the European is right in sense Western Pennsylvania on the GFS gets a ton of snow. I think this is going to be a quick changeover to give Western PA some snow, but 
it's just not the right spot to get a crushing snowstorm in places like Pittsburgh or Southeast Ohio into Western West Virginia. I do think we're going to have a couple of inches. I do think that will save the white Christmas for these areas, but I don't think we're talking about the big ticket totals like really West Central Michigan in that area that I if you are enjoying this video and finding it informative please hit that thumbs up button it really does help me out a lot I would also love to know if you are traveling for Christmas and where you are traveling to and from please post that in the comments below if you're keeping tabs at home we've now made it to part two of this major blizzard this is the wind now and this is what makes this storm a blizzard it's not the amount of snow it's the wind and it's the visibility. Remember, there's that set definition. Visibility for three straight hours, three consecutive hours of a half a mile or less with the sustained winds greater than 35 miles an hour. We are looking at the wind gusts right now. And just look at this. Everywhere you see this orange color, we're talking about the wind speeds. 40 to 50 miles an hour. And that is pretty much everybody. I mean, look at this. There's orange everywhere on the map. There's the scale. And there you see it, 42, that's knots on the scale. Again, that's pushing 40 to 50 miles an hour again. Now watch what happens. These winds get even stronger. So if you are traveling anywhere, even into Christmas Day, we could have problems. Look at this on Lake Erie. We're talking, there's a 68, 65, 67 knots. That's going to put us very close to hurricane force winds right along the lake. And you see those winds just howling through the Laurel Highlands into western Pennsylvania and then back into Ohio still as of early on Christmas Eve morning. While I do think the snow is really tapering off by that point, the winds are going to continue to scream right on through Christmas Eve. Who's still with me? We have made it to part three of three of this storm. Of course, we've talked about the snow. We've talked about where we're going to likely have a blizzard. And now, if you're missing out on those two things, you are not going to be able to hide from the Arctic cold unless you live in the desert southwest, southern California. That's the only escape from this chill. Or in the Caribbean. That's a good spot to get away from it as well. Here we go. This is going to be Tuesday morning, and this is where we really start to see the Arctic chill invade. This is on December 20th. We're already talking about temperatures 5 to 25 degrees below zero in this realm. As we go out again to the next morning, this is on Wednesday now, the 21st. Look at this. The chill expands, really hugging the northern tier of the country at this point. But watch what happens as we move in to Thursday. The chill really dislodges. This is Thursday morning now, and we're looking specifically for these below normal, below zero temperatures, right in that bright blue color. I'm going to turn off the telestration, and we are going to go forward. Look at that blast on through. This is on December 23rd. We have teens now into Dallas. We have teens into New Orleans, into the Deep South, teens into Ohio, single digits into Western Ohio. So again, not only do you have the blizzard ongoing, you have life-threatening cold sliding in by the time the dust settles on christmas eve and i'm calling the snow the dust because the winds are still going to be howling in the great lakes in northeast we're talking about temperatures right around the freezing mark in central florida if not even a couple of notches below we have temperatures below freezing in new orleans in houston we are way these are actual air temperatures 30 to 40 degrees below zero in North Dakota and eastern Montana. Absolutely bonkers. And again, the wind chill going to be even colder than that. I mean, we're talking about wind chills in this area of maybe 20 to 25 below. Back here, more like 40 to depend potentially as cold as 60 degrees below zero. Again, that's frostbite in less than five minutes. Before we get to our next stop of this video, the White Christmas Outlook, I do want to say if you are traveling, please be safe. This is nothing to play around with. If you're traveling by car in places like Chicago, into Indiana, northern Ohio, where you're going to have the snow and the wind, please think twice about doing that for one. If you do, make sure that you have a way to, I know this sounds extreme, survive this on the roads. Make sure you have 
blankets, coats, things like that. If you do get stuck on these roads in that area of the country, it might be a very long time before you're being able to be dug out because this blizzard is going to be so significant. And now the moment I know you've been all waiting for. My white Christmas outlook here as we move into Christmas morning. You'll notice three colors on your screen. The white represents a slight chance. It's not zero, but it's not looking good. The blue represents the probable shot. And then that pink color, purple color, however you see it, is where I think it is extremely likely that there will be a white Christmas this year. So obviously you will notice here through the I-95 corridor from Boston into New York City, just east of Philly, Baltimore, D.C., into Roanoke, Virginia, and then down into the lower elevations of the Carolinas. I think we are missing out this year. Again, if you remember earlier from my first outlook early in December, I give it some probabilities along the I-95 corridor, but with the way that one of the teleconnections was kind of shaping up, I just didn't think that pattern was going to hold to blast the I-95 corridor with snow. And as we're seeing with our blizzard, it was an inland runner heading towards the Great Lakes. All right, the next color is blue. I think Scranton, we have a shot. Same deal in Albany, southern Vermont, getting into New Hampshire, and then down into southeast Pennsylvania. That blue then hops over the Laurel Highlands. Pittsburgh, I think we're going to have a chance as we get a couple of inches with this big blizzard sliding through. That extends into most of Ohio, into parts of Kentucky. Again, this is the probable here. And then down for us into Charleston, West Virginia. Now, the likely, and this being helped out by the blizzard, of course, we have enough snow here from our crazy lake effect snowstorms that we've dealt with so far this winter. But for us in Cleveland, we get it. Toledo, Detroit, Saginaw, we are looking good for a white Christmas. Moving further west now into the Great Lakes again. Davenport, Iowa, all the way down just to the north of Champaign, Illinois. Fort Wayne, I think we get a white Christmas. Most of Michigan, most of Wisconsin, most of Minnesota, and most of Iowa is looking good. Again, we are going to get several inches of fresh snow at least in northern parts of Iowa because of our blizzard coming through. For us in the blue here, this is where things become probable. From Kansas City down to St. Louis, the southern half of uh, Illinois, getting into Indiana through Columbus, we're in the probable zone. I have us in white through Cincinnati, just because there are still some questions as to when that changeover from our blizzard comes through. But I honestly think you're looking a little bit better for a white Christmas as well. Same for us into South Central Indiana, into Southern Illinois, and then down toward Springfield, Missouri. Now, Arkansas will have a shot with a couple of inches of fresh snow on the northern part, and then just north of Nashville, and then into the mountains of Tennessee. We talked a lot in our live broadcast last Saturday that I thought the models were going too crazy for Arkansas. They have significantly backed off to give us maybe an inch or two or three on the northern cusp there along the Missouri and Arkansas border. So we are going to have a shot. Still some questions that will be ironed out. But nonetheless, you are in that white color. I think you have those probabilities for a white Christmas. There is a lot of purple on this map here. I think that we are really going to have a great shot, and that is not really going out on too much of a limb at this point. In the Northern Plains and Upper Midwest, you see it here, really all of Montana, all of Wyoming, all of Colorado. Now, we will see a cutoff here where I do think the probabilities are just a smidge lower in Kearney and North Platte, but I have you guys in probable. Same thing for Southern Iowa and into the northwest side of Missouri. Those chances go down just a little bit into Kansas, but again, they aren't zero. I think we're going to have a shot depending upon how far that cold air comes in from the blizzard. So really a lot of folks in the plains, north and southern, are going to have a really good shot at seeing a white Christmas. Last but certainly not least, the Intermountain West, Pacific Northwest, and Desert Southwest. I think we miss out on the chill in Las Vegas in Southwest California, where I don't have any kind of color here. I think in the higher elevations of New Mexico and Arizona, we are going to get a white Christmas, where it's almost a slam dunk. The Sierra Nevadas, we have so much snow this year. Same for us along the Cascades. Seattle, I have you having a slight opportunity for a white Christmas just because with this blast coming through, we might be able to get a little bit of snow even in Seattle. But the guarantee is, of course, in the higher elevations, 
through the eastern side of Washington and Oregon into northern Nevada, into the northern half of Utah specifically, the mountainous regions of Colorado, even in the foothills, I think, with this last system, this next blizzard coming through. Probably will be a blizzard for you, but you will see the snow, at least some of it, from this storm. And then, of course, as we talked about, the western Dakotas going to get slammed. We have already been slammed with some heavy snow it is looking extremely likely for a white Christmas for us. Last but certainly not least, the Intermountain West, Pacific Northwest, and Desert Southwest. I think we miss out on the chill in Las Vegas in Southwest California, where I don't have any kind of color here. I think in the higher elevations of New Mexico and Arizona, we are going to get a white Christmas, where it's almost a slam dunk. The Sierra Nevadas, we have so much snow this year. Same for us along the Cascades. Seattle, I have you have a slight opportunity for a white Christmas just because with this blast coming through, we might be able to get a little bit of snow even in Seattle. But the guarantee is, of course, in the higher elevations through the eastern side of Washington and Oregon into northern Nevada, into the northern half of Utah specifically, the mountainous regions of Colorado, even in the foothills, I think, with this last system, this next blizzard coming through. Probably will be a blizzard for you, but you will see the snow, at least some of it, from this storm. And then, of course, as we talked about, the western Dakotas going to get slammed. We have already been slammed with some heavy snow it is looking extremely likely for a white Christmas for us. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions. Please post that in the comments below. If you like what you saw and you love talking and tracking the weather with us, please hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you in this weather community. Again, in all seriousness with this, this is going to be a major storm. Yes, it is going to deliver a great opportunity for a white Christmas. But if you are traveling the 22nd, the 23rd, and even Christmas Eve, make sure you're checking with your carriers Make sure that you are being extremely safe. And again, if you are heading to anywhere like Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, you might want to think about altering your plans if you are traveling in that 22nd through early in the day on Christmas Eve because there is going to be a full-on blizzard in the Great Lakes region. Thank you guys so much for watching this and for your support. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. And again, if you love to talk and track the weather, please hit subscribe. We will have an update on this major pre-Christmas blizzard on Tuesday's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah as well for those who are celebrating.